What's good, YouTube? Today, as you know, Michael Jordan has retired, and it is a very sad day for NBA. But I tell you what, he retired from being a player, and as my coach, he's an old man, so we have to let him go. But we got new coaches, my subscribers. Before we get into them teaching me, let me see what I could do so far, and then we're gonna take lessons from them, and then we're gonna see if we got better. And the only way to do that we're gonna go around the world and I wanna see how well I am. Okay, so here's the thing. I know I'm supposed to be wearing up tempos all the time, but here's the thing. When it comes to hooping, up tempos are not hooping shoes. Like, like I lost so much up tempos during the war of 18-12, but don't worry, cause Nike got me and we have Harachis. We got the Hachimuras. So since we got the Harachis, I like to call them the Hachimuras, but you know, I can't do that for legal purposes. Basically, the plan is to go around the world, see how well I'm doing, and then we're gonna take advice from my coaches. So if I'm going for all NBA, offense and defense, you guys are going for all time coaches. So let's see what I could do, and let's see what you guys could teach me. All right, so I was able to do around the world, but my only problem is I can't do quick shots. So that means in, in a very, very tight game where there's a buzzer beater, do not count on me. Do not count on me, but we will change that today. All right, so the first advice is from Coach Scythe. He tells me that I have to put more flick into my wrist. And I, I actually, I don't know, let's go check it out. W code scythe because the flick of my wrist really changed everything. All right, W. So our next advice is from Coach JD. He tells me to practice every day consistently. So with that advice, I actually did that earlier. I came out here at exactly eight o'clock. I was outside at eight o'clock, but I was at home practicing in the backyard at 7.30. So coach, put me in, put me in coach. But um, also he told me to try full court press while dribbling, lay up, and then work up from there. So I'm gonna try to full court press, lay up, full court press, mid range, full court press, three point shot. And then we'll see how that goes. That it was fire. I don't even know why I haven't been trying that before. But yo, W Coach JD. Shout out to Coach JD for telling me to get a better ball. Cause I did not know that the ball I had was a problem. Cause here's my thing. When I be making my shots, they go straight into the net. And if they don't, I just believe that I wasn't doing a good enough job. So thank you. Thank you very much. But next we have Coach Jack. Coach Jack tells me to try from 10 feet instead of 15 feet. And then also he tells me to put my hand in the middle of the ball like this so this is how i shoot right now okay i shoot like this this is my left hand left hand like this this is my right hand right hand on here boom this is how i'm shooting and here's my problem here's my problem my arm doesn't go straight up so it goes like this so i'm this is basically what it's looking like boom arm right like this see that right here and then from here literally flick that's what it's looking like but let's try 10 feet away
personally, I'm not sure how I missed that. But one time I saw Jimmy Butler miss a shot like that. So I'm not really complaining. Also, 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 the build I'm trying to go for before I join the NBA is a Jimmy Butler with a Michael Jordan build. Because I really believe if I put those two builds together, that will be a legendary build. And some people might say, why don't you add Anthony Edwards? But let's get it together. Let's get it together. Jimmy will cook Anthony. But that's just my, that's just my point. That's just my point. But let me get back to listening to my coaches. Next up, we have the two of the best W hater coaches. Um, we have Coach Isumagi. He's, he says that it's not possible to be like Michael Jordan by doing everything he says because he's a physically perfect basketball player. First off, glaze. Second, watch this. Can Michael Jordan do that? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Anyways, thank you, Coach. W Coach, because I needed that challenge. Our last coach is Coach Aiden. <sighs> look, look here, look here. I am not too old to be hooping. Like, literally, I am two years younger than Anthony Edwards. And not only that, not only that, I will cook you, like, literally. Like I will cook you and then bring the fries and I'm gonna eat the fries just so you could get cooked. Get out of my face. Thank you all to my W coaches. Thank you all for everybody supporting me. Thank you Nike for the Hachi more. Thank you Nike for the Harachis. Ah. This is for all the people that don't believe that they can be better basketball players and anybody that believes it's too late. I'm gonna join the NBA, right? And I'm gonna make sure that when we win the NBA Finals, I will play this video on, on the screens of the whole entire NBA court. And we will watch this and you will remember what I say to you because I'm telling you, anybody that doesn't believe that they can hoop, you're trash. And anybody that believes that I can't hoop, I'm better than you. I'm literally better than you. And that's not even my ego talking. Maybe it is. Maybe, maybe just a little bit of my ego. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Like this basketball journey, huh, it takes dedication, time, effort, love, energy. I got all that. I got all that. Look, I can touch the rim. Last time, it was the up tempos. Like they were pushing me down. Bro. Rule number one of challenging DAK is to never doubt me. You see how I touch the rim? Next year, I'm a dunk. And anybody that believes that I can't dunk, I want you to stand right there. I want you to be this person right here. Uh-huh. And then you will get dunked on. I am just as dedicated to playing in the NBA as you guys are dedicated to coaching me in this basketball journey. Thank you all for watching. Love y'all. Stay safe.